there. Happy summer. We are the Kaiser family. Today we will be taking a time out to bring the message home to your family. Brayden, why are you so sad? Well, last week at basketball camp, I couldn't make any layups. I practiced them all the time. I just couldn't make any baskets. Oh my goodness, Brayden. You can't make any baskets. You are not good. Now, Mackenzie, please do not judge now. We all can't be our best on the court every day. Daddy, why are you looking so sad? Well, Braden, the Cardinals have lost all of their starting pitchers, and it seems like we haven't won a game in two weeks, so it's just been a sad time for Cardinals Nation. Daddy, it sounds like the Cardinals aren't that good. Mackenzie, let's not judge the Cardinals. Even the best players in the world have bad days. We just got it last weekend at the Trinity Garage Sale. Now Cass, please do not judge Mackenzie. We all make mistakes, accidents happen. You're right, we do all make mistakes. And Mackenzie, I need to be more careful in my reactions and just be more caring and kind. Wow guys, these are all such great examples of the verse we're reading about in church this week. In Matthew chapter seven, it reads, do not judge others, and you will not be judged, for you will be treated as you treat others. We want to make sure we understand a little more about this verse because it can be misunderstood. We know, we know that as sinful people, we make mistakes and mess up. When we see other people in our lives make mistakes, we can we at times can jump in to judge them in a mean way. Jesus says in this verse that because he saw our mistakes and still loved us, we should not approach others meanly when they make a mistake. If they mess up or hurt us, we can reach out to them in love, building them up in the forgiveness and grace we receive in Jesus. When people make mistakes, they can feel bad and sorry for what they did. We can share God's love with them by being kind to them and forgiving them. Wow, Jesus shows me a great example. Brian, I'm sorry about saying that you're bad at basketball. Will you forgive me? Of course I forgive you. And Mackenzie, I am so sorry for being angry about the lamb from the Trinity garage sale. Do you forgive me? Yes, Mommy, I will forgive you. And Daddy, I'm sorry about saying mean things about the Cardinals. Will you forgive me? Of course I forgive you, Mackenzie. Well, I think we all learned a little something today about treating our neighbors with kindness from God's Word. So let's remember, with Jesus... Jesus. We, we can, can reach, reach out, out to, to others, others in love. Hey guys, Lyle McBurney here. Huge shout out to the Kaisers for taking a time out to bring the message home to your family. Now I sure know that many times in my life, my friends and family have showed me God's love by approaching me with kindness when I made mistakes. And I'm so grateful for their love and support shown to me. Now, let's fold our hands and bow our heads and pray together. Let's pray. Dear God, thank you so much for showing us love and grace when we messed up and sinned against you. We thank you that you saved us from our sins. Help us to be able to reach out in love to the people in our lives that make mistakes because you love us so much. We love you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Now, let's take time to discuss some of these questions with your family. Number one, 
When was a time that you felt sorry for something that you did wrong? Number two, what has been a time that someone has reached out in love to you when you messed up? Number three, how can you reach out to people with the love we receive from Jesus?